3M Scotchco engineering repair products allow you to effectively repair and maintain equipment with minimal downtime. Used in even the toughest of military environments, they provide a proven repair solution. Imagineering. What can you repair? Scotchcoat Urethane Pipe Repair PR504 is a special fast curing moisture activated repair bandage for repairs to leaking pipes. It provides a long term solution to damage leaking pipes up to a pressure of 27.5 bar depending on the thickness of the bandage. Before you start, ideally turn off the water. If this is not possible, reduce the pressure in the pipe by opening taps. You will need to use Scotchcoat Epoxy Metal Repair SG527 to plug any holes if you can't turn the water off. Clean the pipe sections to remove all oil, grease, loose rust scale, sealant tape and paint from the repair area. On plastic pipes, any external mould release must also be removed. Surfaces should be abraded using abrasive paper or scotch bright pads to create a profile. Wearing gloves, begin to prepare the 3M scotch coat materials. Cut the required amount of epoxy metal repair SG527. The SG527 should be kneaded until a uniform colour is achieved. The two components are in a single stick and are colour coded. Complete mixing is achieved when the colour is uniform. 3M Scotch Coat Epoxy Metal Repair SG527 should be used within 6 minutes of mixing at 20 degrees centigrade. 3M Scotch Coat Urethane Pipe Repair PR504 is a single component material supplied as a rolled bandage in an airtight sachet. Remove the bandage from the sachet and immerse in the water, squeezing 2 or 3 times for about 5 seconds prior to use. The bandage being used today is 50mm by 1.5m. Other larger sizes are available. We're ready to begin. If using the Scotchcoat SG527 metal repair, plug the hole with the mixed product. Then centre the bandage over the leak site and unwrapping from the bottom of the roll, pull firmly throughout the application. A resin foam will come through the tape. This is helped by keeping the bandage under tension. Continue until the whole roll is applied, building to about half an inch or 12 millimetres. Firmly press and smooth the end of the roll into the applied bandage in the direction of application. Wet gloves in water, smooth and firmly press the wet resin back into the wrap. For larger diameter pipes or for higher pressure pipes, a second bandage can be applied using the same technique to achieve a greater thickness. Remember to keep hands moving quickly and wet gloves frequently to avoid sticking. Using rapid hand movements, press and smooth the resin around and parallel to the pipe. Continue this process until the resins are no longer tacky. When you finish, the repair should have a smooth, hard surface, with no fabric protruding from the surface. You have two to three minutes to use the bandage. The repair will start to cure in five minutes, and after 30 minutes, it's fully cured. After the 30 minute cure time, water is contained within the pipe with no seepage and the pipe can be returned to service, operating up to a pressure of 27 bar. To demonstrate that the Scotch Coat pipe repair bandage has successfully sealed the leak and that water is flowing in the pipe, we sealed the end of the pipe to force a build up of pressure in the pipe and drilled through the cure bandage and metal repair product. You can see the white and then grey drill debris and then into the pipe until the water was released. Full application instructions are available on the product data sheet. For more information on this and other 3M Scotch Coat engineering repair solutions, visit our website at www.3m.co.uk slash Scotch Coat. Imagineering. What can you repair?